do you know the Wii? Shop theme? Hello everybody, my name is Lefty, and welcome back to more Fluidity. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that meme, or combination of memes. Last time, we just unlocked Chapter 3. So we're gonna jump right into Chapter 3. See what it has to offer. This temple was built to worship what the ancients, thankful for the ability to grow crops, considered to be a water god. I was flattered, really, even if they were slightly off the mark. Oh, but what am I doing? Now's not the time to reminisce. We have to hurry and find those rainbow drops before my powers disappear for good. So, <laughs> I have a small little story to tell here. I guess we're going to go where the arrows point. When I was getting out my Wii Remote <laughs> to start recording, um, it was actually episode 3, I accidentally grabbed the wrong Wii Remote, which was uh, actually the one I was using for my Wii U, which was in the other room, and so I was very confused why the Wii Remote wasn't working on my Wii. And then I got really confused when <laughs> I went into the other room, because I didn't realize it at first, the, the Wii U was on. I'm like, what? No one's here. What? Is there a ghost? Aha! Uh -huh. It appears as if I have enough power to grant you your final form, the Steam Cloud. Use the State Changer and give it a try. State Changer, Form Changer, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Twist the rear mode towards or away from you to make the cloud rise or fall. Use the cloud to reach new heights. Yes, so this is our final form. This is my final form. These grates would normally be a problem, but now you're a cloud. Just tilt the Wii Remote to the left and pass through. Yep. So we move really slowly through these things, but only the cloud can move so through that. Actually, you might be able to move through it as water. Oh my. It's off. It's awfully blustery up there. The wind will push your cloud back, so wait until it has died down before moving on. Yep, and so th this is what the wind is for. We've seen wind before, but mainly it is used to block the cloud from accessing certain areas where the cloud would probably kind of cheat the, um, the puzzles. Should you wish to turn back into water, simply give the Wii Remote a hearty shake and you'll rain to the ground. Be okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to press the button. Yep, we turn into a storm cloud. And rain. Rain on these suckers. Who? I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess we might as well get this ability first. Already, we have our first ability for the cloud. Form. Now, to open the doors above, you'll need to get that little cog to the mechanism, but it's tied to a balloon. Luckily, you can use your suction ability to move objects. Yes. So we're going to turn into a cloud, and with our new ability to, uh, to suck at video games, that's not very new. <laughs> I've always had that ability. Press and hold 1 to use the suction ability. This will allow you to hold the balloon inside the cloud. Let go of one to release it. Yes. We move slower when we are using our suction ability. But this lets us bring objects with us. Yes, yes, exactly like that. Now all you need to do is pop the balloon on those nasty looking spikes above you and voila! Yes! Epic. <laughs> Epic cloud puzzles. Alright. So now that we have all three forms, tons of stuff have opened up for us. There are three more abilities for us to get. 
So there are some things that we still can't do. But I guess we're just gonna spend the entire episode in this level. Let's see what we can do with the cloud. I kind of I want to come over here though. Um, right, I remember that. We need more rainbow drops to go down there. All right, let's go up. Turning into a cloud and riding this draft. Those venomous things are seething collections of evil goop. Don't let your cloud touch them. Yeah, they're just spikes. <laughs> Don't die to spikes. This nasty stuff is goop mist. It will block your path and is dangerous to touch. Sometimes it may hide things of interest. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't really get a chance to avoid you. So, this place is exceptionally dangerous right now. Um, there's nothing we can do with that tower. But I think what we can do is rain on this pyramid thing here. Put out the fires, which will open these doors. And then we're going to grab the cog. And put the cog in the mechanism. As, as you do in this game, quite a bit. And that'll move that, so we can move that cog. Which... Reveals a hidden rainbow drop. Well done. 25 out of 90. So we're a bit more than a quarter of the way through the game. Also, also, if we get one more golden puzzle piece, we can unlock another mini game or playroom for us and i th i'm hoping we can do that in this episode let's see what is through here water bubbles but also uh maybe a hidden path hmm no i think we need another ability that we don't have for this Let's continue exploring in this room. Ride the wind. Ride like the wind? No, just ri ride the wind. Itself. Um, we can't put out those fires right now unless... Unless I wanted to try and explode to get them, but... Yeah, <laughs> too big to fit through there. Uh, if you take damage, you actually become smaller as the cloud as well. But I don't... Yeah, no, we, we can't get all of these right now. I would like for you to get out of my way, because there's a secret over here. Which gives us some bubbles and a rainbow droplet. But I'm pretty sure we also can't get all of the rainbow droplets yet. So, let's find something else to do. How about you? Weigh this down, and now we can go through. Maybe we can do this one. I'm pretty sure... oof. Nice shot, mister. I'm pretty sure the game wants us to go back what are you doing? Why did it stall there? The cloud. I'm pretty sure the game wants us to go back to earlier chapters with our newfound cloud state. You can, you can fucking go away. <laughs> I'm dead. I, I guess I can rain on this guy. Where did... Okay. Oh. Oh, he's hiding in the clouds. He's hiding in the shadows. That sneaky bastard. I'm pretty sure we can't do this right now. Let's get the heck out of here. Also, yeah, we do not want... Okay. <laughs> it's 
been a while. It's been a little while, but also, we, ju we are just not well equipped for this right now. Uh, we should not rain on the purple spikes. We will die. Uh, get this rainbow flower. Ah, here. Here we go. I think this is going to lead us to a new ability. So the first thing we need to do is break these breakable walls. So we can come through here. Now, I suppose I want to continue being ice? I would like to go down. There we go. <laughs> These enemies, man. They're getting me to me today. Ignore the haters. Well, sometimes it's, it's hard. <laughs> Alright, what does this switch do? Okay, that's what that switch does. We don't need that just yet. First... Okay. This room kind of requires you to use, like, all of your abilities that you currently have. We're gonna pull this down. Now... Oh, you know what? There's a breakable wall up there. Let's get that first. Here we go. <laughs> Longest puzzle in the entire freaking game. Okay, yes, there is our 20th puzzle piece. I think that was the 20th. Now we're gonna turn back into a cloud. So that we can come up here and easily grab this cog. And now, with this cog, we're gonna put it over there, and then <laughs> turn back into an ice block. It's not tedious, I swear. This game is great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. No, but in all seriousness, this game, it is a great game, but there are some parts about it that are a little annoying. But stepping on this switch makes these things move, which pushes the cog up. Okay, and then we need to turn back into a cloud. Actually, we might be able to just get back up there with the ice block. But, uh, you know, it's, it's too tricky. Let's just use the intended strats. like this, then we rain, and turn into an ice block again, for like the hundredth time, step on this switch, and now the cog is up here and we can finally get it into the mechanism. We're going to need to be wired for this. Put it, oh no. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> what have you done, Lefty? <laughs> How could you? Okay, do everything all over again. Because you're an idiot. There you go. That works. Saves time. Speed runs. Now, let's be a little more careful. That we, um, you know, don't fall. See, this part, it's not hard. You just gotta not be so impatient. Just keep yourself in the buckets. A single drop left. <laughs> no. Fine. Finally, there's the rainbow drop. And since we have 20 puzzle pieces, we have unlocked a new playroom down here. 
Welcome to the long jump. Jump at the end of the ramp and use the stick ability to go as far as possible. Chalk up big scores by completing the course multiple times. Yes, so... This one, this is probably my favorite minigame. Just like... Just the speed that you can get. The platforming is just, it's fun. And also, I'm mad, but... Just as with the last playthrough, pl playthrough, <laughs> playthrough room, uh, playroom. I am going to hold a challenge. If you have this game, or decide to buy it or emulate it, show me a video of you playing this mini game and getting the highest score that you possibly can. The first person who's able to beat my score will get rewarded with the golden mushroom roll in my Discord server, which I don't give to very many people. Um, if you were the winner of the, the last one, don't do this one. Because I can't give it to you twice. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, okay. Step on these. Whoop. Just gonna. It's interesting. This one's interesting because. You know, you can sit on the, the gear if you want, but not for long. You know, you can take some time to build up some momentum. Oh, okay. This is new. But, yeah. So, I'm going to give it one more go. And uh, no, I'll, I'll give it one more new record. And then that will be the score for you guys to beat. Oh, and by the way, if you're not already in my Discord server, why not? <laughs> Join it. Uh, if you're the winner of the challenge and you are not in my Discord server, just join it and I'll give it to you. Man, I am sucking at this right now. Oh! <laughs> just barely missed it. these things. You want to hit... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> you want to hit the gears at just the right angle so that you just you keep your momentum All right, there it is. That's the score. Honestly, that sh shouldn't be that hard to beat, but there you go. First person to beat that score on video uh, gets a reward. And the quality of the video doesn't matter as long as it, you know, <laughs> you can prove that you did it. All right, so... How's about we go back into chapter three? See what else we can do. Let's turn into a cloud and let's try going up and right. Just, uh, you know, don't, uh, die. Probably shouldn't have to tell you, but, like, 
dying's kind of like a bad thing. Do you know that? As you can see, <laughs> see no, that, that that wasn't me being an idiot. I <laughs> I did that on purpose to to demonstrate. Clearly. Um. All right. Are we equipped to handle this room? Are we a man or are we a mouse? Yeah, I think we can do this one. Okay. I'm gonna... You know what, let's just jump over the whole thing. Do it like that. Much easier. Where are we taking this? Up there. Alright. And I guess we do it like this. Turn into a cloud. Yes, alright. This one's not so bad. I, I, I find that a lot of times when I am uh, tilting the Wii Remote towards me to go upward as the cloud, I kind of, I tilt too far, <laughs> and then it becomes upside down, and then it starts going the other way. <laughs> so I'm like, go faster, you slow-ass cloud. Okay. Is that everything we can do? For now? Oh, we did unlock a door down there. So let's do that. And there's another ability. Uh, might as well warp. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fun times. Fun times, McGee. That's what they call me. Excellent! I'm feeling potent enough to bestow your lightning ability. Press and hold 2 to charge your cloud with lightning. Once the cloud is charged, you can release 2 to create a lightning strike. Yes, and so this, this is what allows us to kill enemies. But also, lightning can be used on lightning rods to activate switches. Do bear in mind, however, that lightning only strikes downward, so fly above the rod and strike it. Yes, and the whole screen goes dark. <laughs> it's fucking epic. <laughs> what am I, Aaron Hansen? Careful now, a nasty goop slug is nearby. A little jolt of lightning should set him straight. Yep. Shocking behavior, eh? <laughs> Can you not? Looks like those two goop hornets are trying to get the rainbow drop. Show them who's boss with your new lightning ability and grab it for yourself. Get fucked. So yeah, you can only strike them if you see the icon. Like that. Otherwise, don't let go. Fantastic, an electrifying demonstration indeed. Yes, and there's a there's an anthill down there. A rainbow drop right inside it, but I would like to get all these bubbles because I have been dying. I'll just do that real quick. Is there anything else over here? Um, there might be like a rainbow flower or puzzle piece. No, I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Get the rainbow drop. Drown all the ants. Cause fuck them, right? <laughs> Bugs do not contribute anything to society. <laughs> Probably. Alright. Now that we have this ability, we can go to a few more places and it, it'll be much easier to navigate around in this area because we can finally actually kill the enemies. But let's immediately open this. 
I'm in here, and now it's nighttime. <laughs> and, ooh, alright. So we gotta put ourselves in this container here. Don't slip out. Press 2 while we're right there. And then just wait for it to take us. Over to the other side, and move on to the right page of Chapter 3. There should be a, a warp book around here. Yep, there it is. This place actually looks a little bit similar to a certain area in Chapter 1. Let's see. We could go up. We could go right. Or we could go down. Uh, let's go right. And get this rainbow flower. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So we're in inside some sort of a temple. Ah, here, see? See, this is what I was talking about in episode one. <laughs> There was a single drop up there, but it couldn't, uh, water the flower. Didn't count. We, uh, don't have the ability to do that yet. Alright, yep. Nothing to it. Alright, what do we got here? Ah. So we can <laughs> use our water to conduct electricity. Is this thing based on... Yes, okay, so it's... I think it's based on... How you're tilting the Wii Remote? I actually have no idea. But using that, we can move this thing and choose which path for us to go down. Um, this is actually not the path I wanted to take, but this is fine. Um, because I think this will allow us to get the Rainbow Flower. Okay. By water. <laughs> I'll miss you. Yeah, there you go. That's how you're supposed to get that. But now we want to try and get these fish. And not get fucked by this wheel. <laughs> Alright. So I think the path we want is this one. No, it is not. <laughs> oh wait, yes it is, yes it is. Because then, we come in here, open up that fish, but then we can also come up here, which should allow us to get the other fish. Hopefully we don't die. Yep, there's a puzzle piece here, I remember that. And, alright, now we just gotta get the fish back to their home. So that they can live happily ever after. It's just what I do. Happy ending? My job. As a video game protagonist. <laughs> alright. Almost there. Fish die, we die. We go together. We're like family. Um, yes. This is correct, I think. If it's not correct, I'll look like a fuel. So please be correct. <laughs> go! Yep. Perfect. And we get our rainbow drop. Who are you looking at? Okay, so... I feel like I do that <laughs> in between every 
or after after every rainbow drop I get and go back, because I'm just like, hmm, which chapter do I want to go to? Because I actually don't know. But I think we'll get one more rainbow drop in this episode. And then... And then... Well, I think you can guess what happens after that. <laughs> now... Let's come up here. Let's see if we can actually do this part, because I don't remember if we can. Um, it looks like we can't. Maybe. Okay, that, that one worked. Good. <laughs> uh, I think we might be able to do this one. Just gotta avoid these fireballs. I said avoid these fireballs. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess it's not 100% necessary. Ooh. So there's, there's no rainbow drop in this page, or in this panel, which means this panel is here to help you get the rainbow drop in the previous panel. Probably. So, I don't want to go up there without doing that first. otherwise we would have been sent into the spikes and died. So now we have a balloon. And you may be wondering what we need this balloon for. But first, we need to explain parallel universes. No. Uh, this balloon, we can hook it onto a cog. If we pop it, that, um, that tank there will actually give us a new one. So there's, it's impossible to fail a puzzle. <laughs> um, but first, we need to find the <laughs> the gear for us to grab. Uh, yeah, it it looks like. It looks... yeah, okay. We don't have the necessary abilities for this puzzle yet. So... Where, where else can I go? Fireballs, please. Please, please, thank you. Be, be polite, children. Um, if you want to escape with your lives. Uh, <laughs> the false wall here. Ah, here's the cog. But I, I, mean, I don't think we can get the balloon over here yet, so... We might be able to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> For a second I thought I had just trapped my water. Alright. What is the purpose of this? I am very confused. I... I, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what we're supposed to do right now. don't particularly remember this area. But let's try going up this way. See if this helps. It 
don't like how slow these things are. But I guess that's fine. Give me a moment to reflect. Get it? Because water ref reflects light? Anyway. Is there something for me to do up here? Just gotta wait for these. Okay. Yes, okay, 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 okay. We can... I am fairly certain we can do... The puzzle in this area. Possibly. I need to... Uh, strike that... Lightning tower... And I believe that will allow us to get... The yellow cog. Oh, mint. Oh, okay. It didn't push me? <laughs> Weird. Yep, it opens that. Now we gotta go back... Up over here. Okay, that wind is really not that strong. not the fastest game, but still like it. So this cog, right, it goes there, but we can't take it through here. So what we need to do, this is, this is like possibly the longest puzzle in the game. I kind of regret doing this at the end of the episode. But we're gonna finish it. We're gonna commit. We're gonna not die, because otherwise we have to restart the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> so we go and get the balloon. And we take it over there. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we do. To get past the wind there, turn back into water. Now we can hit this switch. And that allows us to take the balloon over to where we need it. And I, I think we can actually get this puzzle piece as well, but... I I think I'm gonna try I, I, I'm gonna do that later when we have the ability to get that rainbow flower unless I can get that rainbow flower now it wants you to use a certain ability that we don't have but we might be able to just get it so that I don't have to come back here yes okay now we have the balloon and you know what we're gonna use the balloon on the purple cog first so we can get the puzzle piece. I'm sorry this episode is so long. I mean, maybe that's good to some of you. Maybe bad to others. Who knows? Tell me in the comments. Actually, I, I'm actually very curious. Like, do you guys prefer longer videos or shorter videos? Because I, I can change my format if you guys want me to. I just, you know, I need you to tell me what you want. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Got the puzzle piece. Now let's try and finagle our way up here to get the rainbow flower. I, I'm pretty sure this is just not going to work. Oh my god, it's working. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, okay. Ooh, and that, that was the last rainbow flower of this page. So that's pretty nice. We'll get that rainbow drop at the beginning of the next video. But first, 
just gotta get this rainbow drop I've worked so hard for. It's, it's been a long day of work. <laughs> Please. Don't bother me. Do not even talk to me right now. Here we go. Here we go. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. And we also need to make sure that the cog doesn't fall into the lava. Because if the cog falls in the lava, it'll melt. <laughs> It'll be dead forever. And if that happens, we die. <laughs> so. Be careful. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Yes! Okay. Whew. Glad I never have to do that really long puzzle again. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this video next time. Maybe we'll go back to chapter one, maybe chapter two, or maybe we'll just continue in chapter three. Who knows? But either way, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.